So hello everyone, my name is Rayan Saad al Haq and I'm from Dhaka Udan School, uh, higher secondary. So I guess today my topic is, as you said, uh, science and robotics for uh, a better pollution-free world. So science, what do we know as science? It's, uh, it's you know, a systematic and harmonious study uh, to find out many natural effects and how they happen, why they happen in many cases. And uh, what is robotics? Everything related to robots. And what are robots? Robots are like machines which look like human, not in most cases, but they like act like human um, synchronously and with commands, but they do it auto automatically sometimes too. So. Today's topic is how science and robotics can actually positively uh, change to a pollution-free world. How can it help? So uh, various researches were made in this and uh, advancements are being made in 2012 uh, in uh, Gijon, uh, that's uh, a port in Spain. Uh, a few fishes, uh, you know, robotic fishes were experimentally you know, just left in the shore. Uh, these robotic fishes were like uh, the result of research of the University of uh, Think Essex and under the BMT group uh, they invented this fish and it could detect pollution you know like if it's uh, an oil tanker like leaking out in the sea it could detect it and then it had GPS and had a uh, digital battery and it could even swim like normal fishes so it could mimic the fish's pattern and uh, but the problem was that it wasn't made of biodegradable uh, elements the same problem occurred in another uh, research uh, in 2017 it was made by I don't know an university uh, in England uh, a machine it could uh, like go into water and uh, grab some oil and pollution and sometimes also algae because algae often uh, uh, uses up the oxygen in order to uh, produce food so food uh, the, so the water becomes uh, like uh, devoid of oxygen so the aquatic life there uh, is greatly hampered because of algae so it, c it could collect oil and algae and it could use that to like uh, create more energy which could um, like which could it use to swim further is and if you like understanding something I'm mean, speaking too fast anyways so uh, but the problem is it it weren't biodegradable so if it like it, its battery like turned down there so uh, it wouldn't degrade which would uh, harm hamper the environment but uh, still the uh, research is uh, further being made to, to try to make it a biodegradable one and if it is successful then thousands and millions of robots of like this could go like searching into the water for pollution and like grabbing them and creating more energy so this could uh, turn to be in a positive uh, effect so robotics is already uh, experimentally uh, grabbing a very great importance and a good positive effect in um, uh, avoiding pollution and even science can help in this case too now uh, a foundation in uh, I guess it's uh, Hong Kong, its name was Mycotech. It uses uh, various like waste materials to produce uh, produce carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes are like, you can use it in the buildings or something. As far as I know, it uh, reduces 30% of the use of concrete because it strengthens uh, iron and the iron and the, uh, anyways, the building structure. So um, they use carbon nanotubes, which reduces the use of concrete which also, you know, if you need to make concrete, you need to collect various um, unusable, unrenewable energy, which is pollution. So uh, less use of concrete equals more, more or less pollution and less pollution. And uh, it re also recycles waste material. Can I grab, uh, have a minute more, please? Sorry. So uh, yeah, so you can ov obviously use science and robotics for a positively better pollution-free pollution world. Thanks. Thank you. Hello, my dear presents. You are in the presentation of me, Ms. Baudinina, who is the champion of the Small Stars Group in the second English Olympiad Grand Finale. Yep, I'm a dreamer of this supercalifragilistic journey. You can be too, because this journey is again giving you a new chance to participate in the third English Olympiad and the selection round is going to be organized in this month, my friends. Yep, and registration is going on in www.englisholympiad.net website. And English Olympiad teaches you much more. Then it teaches you that you are not limited into this competition. Out of the competition, bonding upon each another, you can be leaders. So to be a leader, come here, of course. And it teaches you the fun way of everything. So I'm inviting you cordially. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.